Kev, are you guys good? Yeah? All right, cool. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. My name is Elvis Torres. I'm the product manager at Ladacre for the Concrete and Substrate Preparation Group. We have a bunch of stuff to present to you today. We're going to be, you know, always continuing our innovation, safety for our contractors, and just productivity on the job site. We've got a couple different products to show you today. We're going to be talking about our new product, our Pro Mix Station. Then we're going to be talking about our skim light, and from there, our 3701 light. So our lightweight technology, and then on top of that, again, adding machinery to it to prov uh, provide a better productivity on the job site. So, starting off, we have four different methods to provide our customers to, to lay down SLU or overlays on the job site. So our stage one, which is our toolkit. So entry level, it has all the tools needed for a self-leveling application, spike shoes, which are flexible, your gauge rake, you know, um, spike roller, smoother spreader, and the 15-gallon barrel. So that's good enough for about one to two bags of a mix. You know, manual labor, you pick that up, you drop it off. Good for like a room or two. Then we go to stage two, which is now being filled in by our Pro Mix Station. So the Pro Mix Station, now you're starting to up the game a little bit, and that is capable of two to three bags uh, per mix. And again, it being on wheels and flexible, gives you a little bit more maneuverability on the job side, makes your life a lot easier. And we'll go a little bit more in detail on this on the following slide. Our next one is our stage three, which is offering our customers a pump, which depending on the job size that they, uh, the job size that they have, we offer a pump program, which could be even free up to the size of the job. And we are willing to provide a pump to our customers to use if the job is large enough, and that's across the United States. So that's a very beneficial program. Again, a lot of details, and you can talk to us more in our booth about it, but again, it's based on job size and using our NXT products. And finally, our super cap system, which is, like I say, the nuclear bomb of self-leveling. You can pump 30,000 pounds an hour through our super cap truck, go up about 50 stories high, so high rises are no problem. You can go even higher with stationary pumps on those floors, a pump is even higher. So really effective tool, and we do a lot of pumping in Texas, New York City, Boston. Very, very popular system because it's, you can have everything in the truck. The truck is self-fed as a crane that attaches to the truck and it just loads in material. 2,500 pound super sacks, one after another, and just continuously keeping the dust out of the building and allowing you to self-level again very quickly. So that's another service that we offer, again, from the smallest application to one or two rooms to leveling a building. So this was a new introduction of our, to our product line in February. So in February, we launched the Pro Mix Station. Pretty nifty tool. It, has, it comes with a two-speed drill. Uh, the lower speed, which is 250 RPMs, that's good for your adhesives, your mortars, the thicker stuff. Then you go up to 580 RPMs, which is good for your self-leveling or your epoxies. It comes with two different blades. This is the blade that's used for the fluid material, so you can see it's three different blades in one. Really gets that good shearing action. With self-leveling underlayments, the, the challenge is that so many ingredients. Your typical adhesive and stuff like that has like seven, eight ingredients. Your self-leveling underlayments typically have 15, 16. So you gotta make sure you're getting a very good chemical reaction, getting all those ingredients mixed well. So the drill is removable, which is nice. So again, if you have a mortar mix, a thicker mix, this just pops right off and you can use it in a five gallon bucket. And then if you need to use it for again for self-leveling, place it right back on, change the drill bit, and you're good to go. This is also tiltable, so again, no struggle there. You just have to you know, push it over. It has a locking latch in the back when you're ready to dump the material out. So I've seen this on job sites where they may have like two or three of these going continuously, and you have people with carts coming in, the runners as they call them. You dump this material into the car, they take off, and this just keeps on mixing. So a nice nifty way if maybe you can't get a pump on site, very useful tool. It has a polyethylene inner tub, so which is nice. If you don't have the time to clean it, you may have to run off the job site, come back with a little rubber mallet, nice and gentle, tap it, and it'll pop right off. So very durable steel frame. Again, the caster wheels, two locking caster wheels on it. Really effective tool that we have in our arsenal now. And I'm going to answer the question before, you know, it's not for free. You can't take it. I've been getting that question all, all, all day. So we are selling these now. 
And uh, no, it's just been nothing but phenomenal feedback. And another thing, this is just pushing towards our project safety. It has a dust collector right here. So you hook up a shop back to it. As you're pouring the material in, it takes out the dust. And we have this splash shield right here. So as you're pouring the material into the bin, you won't get splashed. So that's always nice to keep dust and all that cementitious material off of your shirt, which is always kind of hard to take off. So that is the pro mix station. And next, we're going to be tackling our skim light. Yep. So this is, oh, let me introduce my, uh, my crew here, actually. I'm, forgive me. We have Kevin Nichols, our regional manager for Bethany South. So that's pretty much uh, southern New Jersey and downwards. We also have Adam Marks, who's our northern, central northern, and Nevada rep. So Kevin's uh, an ex-contractor, has, has skimmed a lot of floors, so he was a perfect man for the job here. Skin light, what, what is there not to say about this product? It is a lightweight, it's eight pounds, but volume wise it's 13 pounds. So it looks a little deceiving when you look at it, you're like, oh, this is gonna weigh about 13, 15 pounds, you get it, it's about eight. Lightweight material, we've learned through our technology of multi-max light, 3701 light, and we decided to say, hey, you know what would be cool? To add that new technology to a skim. The way I went about this was, why have a skim in different categories when you can have a skim that does a lot, all in one? So this product is lightweight, it is fiber reinforced, it adheres no problem to concrete, plywood, OSB, not an issue. It is also 100% moisture resistant, which is huge. A lot of skims are not 100% moisture resistant, so you have moisture in the floor, you don't have to worry about this product breaking down and making the whole system fail. Um, it is, again, fiber reinforced. It's rapid, so about in 20 minutes or so, you'll be able to put floor covering on it if it's dry, depending on the, obviously the temperature and all that. And of course, um, yeah, silica free because of the lightweight aggregate that we have in it. Doesn't, it doesn't produce any silica dust, but huge success. Because of the, it's, it's lightweight features and it being about 13 pounds worth of volume, you get a very high coverage rate. So typically, skins out there in the market are saying 100 to 300. So you can either, if you get a can of paint, you can either paint your door or the entire house. You know, it's very vague. It's such a huge range. But with skim light, the nice thing about it is that it gets you a very large uh, coverage rate. So on smoother substrates, you're going to get about 380 square feet to the bag. And then on a rougher substrate, such as OSB, you're probably going to be around the 290 range. So very good, effective product. Um, as you can see, Kevin's already skimmed this floor. And if anyone's willing to, you know, want to play around with it, we have another board up here. Um, Kevin, you have any comments or anything to say? No, you can take this, take this tight down to the floor if you guys need. We can also build it up to one inch. Thick, one inch. Yeah. So you can ramp this if you need. Um, any. Uh, voids in the concrete, holes if you have anything, uh, old carpet glue to go over, that's where you want it. Exactly. Um, a very good point on the thickness, this can go from a feather edge, a skim, to up to one inch thick. So, it has a, it's, it's a little bit of a unique tool because of the fact that as it builds time, it gets a little bit thicker, so then you can start using it to patch, repair, you know, anything like that. But if you're wanting to get it back to a nice creamy consistency, like to push around very easily on the floor, just re-whip it, but without adding water. Just put your drill mixer back in and re-whip it, it goes right back to the same consistency. So it's really unique, it's a unique uh, animal. Um, really good feel, lightweight technology really gives the product a unique feel on the floor. It's, so, it's like very fluffy, very easy to push, hardly any resistance on the trowel. So our contractors really like it, they really say it's effortless to push on the floor. Um, and now going from lightweight technology to another, which is our 3701 light. So our classic legendary, as I used to call our legend product, which is our 37 fortified mortar bed, which has been now in the market for well over 10 years. You know, it needed a little bit of an update, so we decided to add a little bit more lightweight technology to that. And that's when we came up with 3701 light mortar, and also light mortar R, which is our rapid version of the, the light mortar. So. 37, uh, 30, 3701 light, uh, light mortar was really developed for vertical and overhead applications. So one comment that we always got with our old traditional FMB, the 37, 3701 FMB, was great product, 
you know, we use it all the time, but man, sometimes when we're doing a, a pool wall or doing a render or anything like that, the material falls off. So we said, okay, well, you know what? Let's take the, the, the technology we learned from Multimax Light, which had come out before 3701 Light, and, and introduced that into a mortar. So that's where that was, probably was born. Really great. We've seen people render walls outside buildings if they're CMU and they want to put like a masonry finish on it. Um, use a lot in bathrooms as well for rendering bathroom, uh, for uh, rendering walls and bathrooms. Uh, we have, and again, the rapid version of this product is the only one on the market. The only lightweight mortar that's rapid. So this product, the walk-on, is about 16 hours, the standard one, but our rapid version, an hour and a half, you can be walking on top of it. So giving our customers a lot of flexibility there in timing, whether you're, pinch, you're in a pinch and get, you need to get the job done quickly, or you have the time and you can play around with it. But again, phenomenal product for vertical and overhead. We do have a water ratio as well for, for mortar beds. So if you need to do horizontal work, we also have a water uh, consistency for that. Um, but really, this product shines on vertical and overhead applications. I mean, customers really love it. Uh, Adam over here is actually going to be doing a render on the wall. He's been doing this a lot, actually, in California. A lot of the major states have been uh, really taking in the lightweight technology because of the safety factor. Again, this is crystalline silica-free. There is no sand in this product. It's all lightweight aggregate. So, really popular. We've also seen, seen applications where if you're doing multiple mud beds on the, uh, multiple shower pans on the floor, there have been weight you know, constraints on, the, on those, some of these buildings that cannot take the weight of a standard mortar bed. So that's where, again, 3701 light mortar comes to shine. Yeah, so this is 3701 light rapid right here that we scratched this morning. So this is already hard. Uh, it's definitely a rapid setting. This is the regular that we mixed here. So I'm going to set some screeds in this. And what I did was I scratched it so that way I can do a full half inch mortar bed here on top. But you don't necessarily have to with this product either. You can patch the cement board without using any sort of slurry or scratch coat. Just go directly to the cement board. It's highly modified, so it's very sticky. But it's not like regular fat mud, which is lime based. This is a modified uh, mortar bed that is 5,000 plus PSI, potentially. So very strong and very good for pools, like, like I said. That's a very good question. The question was, what does it have in it instead of sand? And I honestly do not know the specific aggregate because our R&D team is so, they keep everything so close to the chest that honestly, I don't know the specific aggregate that's in it. But it is definitely tried and true with our Multimax light. Then this product's already been out for a year and a half, and we've gotten great results with this. And now that's the same technology we use in Skim Light. So I wish I had the answer, but they would have to kill me if they told me type of thing. So again, um, but yeah, to Matt's point, this can go up to you know most uh, lightweight mortars are actually cannot go that thick on the wall because they just fall down. This can go up to three fourths of an inch on the wall, so almost an inch on the wall without falling down. Again, that's that lightweight technology. You're not hanging as much weight on that wall, which is going to bring the whole thing down. Here are some, just some performance specifications for a wall render, just giving you, as you can see, 2500 to 3500 PSI once fully cured. A little less for the rapids, but that's common with rapids. You're going to get the higher strength when you start using the less water recommendation, four to 5000 PSI when it's used as a, red, as a mortar bed. So. On horizontal? Yeah. Yeah. The question was, can this product be used on horizontal, not only vertically and overhead? And the question is, yes. You'd probably be using the less water ratio there, which obviously, you know, just like a tip under a traditional mortar bed and stuff like that. It is a unique feel. Um, that's one comment I definitely have to mention. Uh, when you're using a lightweight aggregate product, you know, you don't have that sand anymore. So the feel, you have to get used to it. Some of our installers love it. Some of them have, you know, they're just getting, getting have to get used to it. But, you know, as safety becomes higher, higher priority for engineers and architects and developing a, a safe, you know, uh, for even our installers. I mean, you know, our installers are getting older and older and we want to keep them on the job site longer and longer. So that's really the mission here. The bag is 30 pounds, but it has the same coverage rate as a 60 pound bag. So same coverage as a 60 pound bag, but half the weight. So 
carry two of those, you look like a macho man or woman walking up the stairs with, you know, two bags on their each arm. You're like, wow, that's you know, hitting the gym. So. So Adam over here has a lot of experience doing these wall renders. You don't want to see me at, uh, behind the behind the trial. I'll be ruining everything. Yeah, I make a mess over here with the uh, mud, but that's why I have a tarp. A little <laughs> messy job, but this is a nice product for walls. Definitely, that's the one I would recommend for a wall application. Um, and it's a part of that high warranty level, that 25-year warranty. So it's a really high-end product and great for repairs, great for mortar beds. So easy to use. It's nice and sticky, nice and fluffy. Very nice stuff. Yeah, really just a, a great filling a large gap that we had in our in our mortar bed technology here at Atlanta Creek. I mean, again, the product was released in February of uh, 2020. So it's been out for, on the market for a pretty good time. Great reviews. I think, you know, if anyone also wants to try uh, rendering, you know, we'll be here afterwards. We still have some skim light here on the, on the, on the board. And also uh, Adam is going to be kind of finishing up this render. So... Are there any questions? Yes, sir. Does it stick to drywall? I'm sorry. Oh. Does it stick to drywall? It will, yes. You can go up to three fourths, almost an inch on the wall. Um, you, you can bring it almost down to nothing. Yeah. All right, everyone. So, if anyone wants to play around with it, we we are you know we have a little bit of time. So, please, you're more than welcome to come on to the stage and play around with it. And uh, Adam will finish up this render. Show you guys if anyone wants to hang around and take a look. Thank you very much. <laughs>